ओके सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज द क्लोपिटो गेल ओके सो इन दिस लेक्चर विल डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लास ऑफ दिस ड्रग मॉलिकुलर फार्मूला इंडिकेशन और यूजेस मेकानिजम ऑफ एक्शन और मोड ऑफ एक्शन कॉन्टेंट इंडिकेशन साइड इफेक्ट्स एंड क्लोपिटो गेल वर्सेज एसपेरिन अ बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट सो फर्स्ट इज द नेचर और द क्लास क्लास ऑफ दिस ड्रग इज दिस इज एंड दिस इज एन एंटी प्लेटलेट एजेंट ओके नेक्स्ट इज द मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला ओके द मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला इज सी सिक्सटीन एच सिक्सटीन सी आई एन ओ टू एस एच सी एल नेक्स्ट मॉलिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर सो दिस इज द मॉलिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज द सी एल ग्रुप दिस इज द एस ग्रुप Okay. Next, we'll discuss about the indications or uses. Okay, so there are mainly two uses, are mainly two uses. So, to prevent, to prevent heart attacks, heart attacks, and strokes. Okay, and if it is used with aspirin to treat okay so it is used with aspirin to treat <coughs> chest pain chest pain and to keep blood vessels open and prevent blood clots after certain procedures okay such as cardiac stent next uh, we'll discuss about the me mechanism of action or mode of action so here so uh, let's take this is the cell membrane so in the cell membrane we have receptor and this receptor is called P2Y12 subtype receptor okay and what happened ADP comes and bind to this place and as a result it activates the G couple protein okay the G couple protein and further which activates the alpha 1 and the beta gamma okay and alpha 1 activates the adenyl adenyl cyclase which activates the CAMP which activates the protein kinase A and which helps to transfer BASP B A S P P and B A S P. Okay, and uh, this two thing further helps in activation of G P two B and G P three A receptor, which further helps in platelet aggregation. Okay. And beta gamma receptor activates the P13K, which also helps in platelet aggregation. So now what will happen? Clopido grill. So let's take uh, this is the clopido grill. Okay. So it will act on this site and will block there will block this place so ADP will not be able to bind here okay so now no more G couple protein activation that is alpha 1 and beta gamma and no more platelet aggregation so by this way clopidogrel acts this is the mechanism of action or mode of action of the clopidogrel next we will discuss the contraindications so 
here we'll discuss a total 13 contraindi contraindications so there are many contraindications of this drug so it is always advised to take this drug after proper prescription or advice from a doctor or a registered medical practitioner okay so let's start so first one is the if the patient has increased risk of risk of bleeding <coughs> due to clotting disorder so if the patient has a clotting disorder and <coughs> there is a chance of increased <coughs> risk of bleeding then this drug is contraindicated next is bleeding from retina okay, so if the bleeding is occurring from retina then also next bleeding from bleeding from skull okay. next uh, is thrombotic thrombo cytopenic purpura okay next is stomach or intestinal ulcer okay. next is sip 2c19 poor metabolizer and sip 2c19 intermediate metabolizer if the person is poor and intermediate metabolizer next uh, if the patient has acquired hemophilia okay next uh, if the patient has <coughs> chronic kidney disease stage 3a 3b 5 okay 10 11 next uh, if the patient has deep peripheral nerve block and deep plexus block okay so these are the content indications next the side effects so side effects so headache or dizziness and next is the universal side effects that is the nausea vomiting next diarrhea diarrhea or constipation indigestion stomach ache or abdominal pain abdominal pain and nose bleeds okay so these are the side effects now come to the clopidogrel versus the aspirin okay so clopidogrel <coughs> and aspirin so basic difference is that the clopidogrel is a proper antiplatelet agent antiplatelet agent and aspirin is a NSA, NSID okay that is the non steroid anti inflammatory drug now aspirin in a proper dose there are different dose of aspirin and in those different doses aspirin works differently so in a dose of aspirin excess anti platelet isn't okay so this is the clopidogrel versus aspirin so this is the basic difference just next um, okay so all, that is all about the clopidogrel and now we will quickly revise everything we have learned so first is about class so this is an antiplatelet this is an antiplatelet agent next molecular formula so this is the molecular formula and this is the molecular structure 
Next come to indications that is the uses. So prevent heart attacks and strokes. If it is used with aspirin then it helps to treat chest pain to keep blood vessels open and to prevent blood clots after certain procedures. Next mode of action or mechanism of action. So normally okay so just to briefly discuss so clopidogrel will bind to this place and further no more ADP will able to bind here so as a result no more G couple protein activation no more further platelet aggregation okay so next is the contraindications so if the uh, okay so there are lots of many contraindications are there so next are the side effects and last is clopidogrel versus aspirin so I hope you have liked this video guys and please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel.